2017, there's a look at the beautiful state-of-the-art Mercedes-Benz Stadium here in Atlanta, GA. The veteran punter Bradley Pinion has this one teed up, and we are underway from Atlanta. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Anytime a team goes on the road, there's always that little bit of fear that maybe they can be affected by the hometown crowd. But this is where game planning really came into play. They talked about it all week. Go in there, establish yourselves. Well, that run right there, that slows down the crowd and gives them a lot of confidence. And he's got Ezekiel Elliott. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll bring up second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Now Prescott. Pressure brought in. Falcons get there for the sack. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. Blitz came there from the inside, and there just wasn't much resistance. No, not at all. That means that defensively, they timed it up perfectly and matched up perfectly. They drew all the blockers to the other guys, left a free runner back to the quarterback, and you know what a free runner turns into? What? A free hitter. Looking to throw. Prescott. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. And as you're game planning as a staff, you go through all the different ways you can neutralize the other guy's pass rushers. Extra linemen, leave a tight end in, bring the running backs back in to block. Or you can do this, a little simple screen pass, and it works to perfection. Prescott down. Able to hit his target, Lamb. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. Prescott to throw it. Short pass taken in by Schoonmaker. The result only four yards there on the play. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Well, safe to say the passing game has found a rhythm. He's now 4-4, four of four, but might need to be 5-5 five of five to keep this drive going here as they face a third down. And maybe perhaps you show a running play, right? Maybe a little play action here to go ahead and let him throw the ball downfield. I wouldn't get away from him flinging it because... Four for four already. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. That's good for a first down, his second catch of the opening drive. Uh, that's a big conversion there on third down, and this has been a great opening drive. You know, at this point, they'd hate to settle for three, but they've created a fresh set of downs and a first and goal. Throwing. Prescott. Out wide, and he completes it. C.D. Lamb. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be. And they're going to get to him, a sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. A big win there defensively on second and goal. A loss of seven, and it brings up third. They'll make that a second sack here on their first drive out defensively, and not to get ahead of ourselves, but they're, they're on pace for double-digit sacks at this point. But they're going to have to find a way to tamp that down, aren't they? So if you're the play caller, you're telling your quarterback maybe some screens, maybe some draws. To the right side and intercepted. Picked off by Justin Simmons. And the Falcons are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. Following the interception, Cousins. 
Oh, and this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. To throw, Cousins. Open man is Kyle Pitts, his tight end. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 15 yards, first down Atlanta. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. In motion goes McLeod. On play action, Cousins. Right back to Pitts again. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. Man coverage on the left side, so I really like the design of this play because they opened up the field and brought their tight end the other way on a crossing route. That's a lot of ground to cover if you're a defender. I've been there before, unable to stay with his man there. And he's got the hook up to McLeod. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. Really been an ideal start for them. They get the turnover on the opening possession. Now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive. And that feels good, but you know on their side of the field, all they're thinking is finish this drive off because they took it away, right? So now you've got them back on their heels a little bit. Now go down, put a touchdown on them. Look out, you've won the mental battle early in the game, and that may carry over for you. Short completion, just four yards, and that will bring up second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. That one, a first down pickup of eight. No score after one on EA Sports. Back now in Atlanta, second quarter action. The Falcons with the football. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Now Cousins. Complete to Mooney on the slam. And the Falcons are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield. They're understanding the coverages and they're finding the open holes in the defense. To throw is Cousins. This is caught. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Second and goal from the one. Cousins. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. Coaches talk about it all the time. Players talk about it as well. Excellent job staying disciplined in coverage and making that stop. Inside the red zone, every stop like that could be preventing a possible touchdown. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Robinson will score. Touchdown and run so a great start. They force the turnover on the other side and then take it down the field on their first drive and finish it off with a short touchdown run. Nice and efficient. Excellent job blocking. Finds the gap and barrels into the end zone. Great way to finish off that drive. Extra point by Kuhn up and going. And that makes the score 7-0. Pinion on. 
on to kick this one away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well too. Not only have they scouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. Here's Prescott. And that is incomplete. Well, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. Second and 10. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. A short one there, taken in by Ferguson. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. The Cowboys on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and four. Now Prescott. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Right back to Tolbert. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. And just a little too lackadaisical, Charles, and they didn't get up and snap the ball in time. Delay of game. Yeah, and I'm not sure if he understood where the clock was located in different stadiums. It's in different places. You have to check that in pregame and make sure you're aware so you don't run into penalties like these. To throw is Prescott. Left side to Lamb. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. Prescott and Lamb hooking up for the Cowboy. Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge, and they're going to get one. Scott. A short one there, taken in by Ferguson. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Here's Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. And all the way down inside the five to the four. 
Another nice gain, 16 yards there at a first down again. It's all pretty simple sometimes, isn't it? Go where the defenders are not, and he does exactly that. Makes a nice catch to move the chains. Defense, got to find a better way of accounting for the shorter routes that are being run against them. Elliott is in. Touchdown, Dallas. So, partner, it was a passing game that drove them down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took them home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows his versatility and gets both done on this drive. Aubrey good with a PAT, and we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons offense. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. The goal for any offense versus a zone defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Cousins now. They'll get this into the hands of Hodge. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Here's Cousins. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And every game we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them and they get their first sack of the contest. Now Cousins. His throw incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Robinson, he'll try the left side. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. And it's a 15-yard pickup. But it'll lead to a fourth down. They had quite a hole to dig out of there on third and long. Not able to get the first, but a pretty good size run. A really good run. But how much confidence do you have in your next play call that you can sell to the head coach? Let's go get it on fourth down. Do you really have a play you believe in? Or are you just hopeful? And you've got to sell it to the big man before it gets called. And the Cowboys going to go on offense one final time in this first half. And with only four seconds on the clock, time likely for just one snap of the football. And we will likely not see another play here as they take the knee and head into the intermission all time. 
And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, called it the 26. So we get set to start this third quarter. Here's the Falcons offense now. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. They're able to complete this one to McLeod. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. And that's the kind of play this offense needs to maybe kick them into gear a little bit. They've been stuck in neutral much of the game. Perhaps that can give them a little bit of confidence that big plays are out there. Working out of the gun, Cousins. That's out wide here for Robinson. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. The Falcon passing game looking good on this drive as they get the first down. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him? without weakening our overall defense. You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. I certainly like the idea. You're down on their side of the field. Get your big play guy involved. That time, they put one up for him to see if he can pull it down in the end zone. But the coverage was good, and it winds up incomplete. Robinson up the middle. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. Officially nothing on that one, no gain. So they're left with still 10 to go on third down. He shows you right there, he can do more than just cover in the secondary from that free safety position. Yeah, the evolution of the position has really been significant, hasn't it? Because a lot of teams no longer have a free safety, strong safety designation. They just have safeties. So wherever the ball is, one can be close to the line of scrimmage, one can be deep, and vice versa. On that play, how about that tackle we just saw? Pretty nice. Now this incomplete, and I don't see any flags coming out. He was clearly in the pocket, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, and that brings up fourth down. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. This will be spotted just shy of midfield, a 59-yard attempt, and this one is no good. He missed it, and we will remain tied here in this third quarter. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. So they tried the 59-yarder and missed it, and now this offense starts just one yard shy of midfield. Prescott from the gun. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Ferguson. Well, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. And Ferguson established himself as one of the better safety blankets in the NFL a season ago, finishing in the top 10 at his position in catches, yards, and touchdowns. This year, he expects to take that blanket off and just be one of the top tight ends in the league. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. Now a second and ten. Prescott now. On the out route, it's Lamb with a grab. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And I don't think he got there, no. 
He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. So they decide not to back him up. They want the down. An interesting call there as it'll lead to fourth down. They'll turn things over to Brandon Aubrey now for the field goal. From the left hash, this from 37. And his kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. to So they're content to take the three. Somewhat of a conservative call there, opting not to go for it on fourth and inches. And that's from a team that you and I know is not usually playing it close to the vest. It's a little bit of a surprise that they opted for the three instead of going for it. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. And able to get this out to the 25. Atlanta now coming out on the field. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. They start on the ground with Robinson here. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. There's Robinson showing the flash. Shedding the tackle and it gives him some room. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 55 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. They've kept him in check until that run. That's the first time he's really gotten loose in this game. And they have to keep that in mind. Don't dwell on the fact that he finally had a big run. You kind of are counting on that as the game went on. Get back to what you were doing before. Start limiting him again. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Ball on the 36 now. Here's second and two. Robinson with another carry. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Very nice run there. And when you think of the term complete back, Bijan Robinson is one of the first guys that comes to mind. He's coming off an impressive rookie season, but the scary part for NFL defenses, he's just scratching the surface. On first and ten, it's Robinson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. After seeing that, maybe time to go back to some downfield throws here. Yeah, anything, change it up, because the teams that win, the best teams, they're the ones that make adjustments. Doesn't mean you can't come back to what you thought you could get done. Sometimes when you open things up a little bit, you can get back to what you wanted to do before. Sets up the screen to Robinson. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. That is caught. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Kyle Pitts, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Falcons have retaken a third-quarter lead. 
Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Crew able to connect on the extra point, and the lead is now 14-10. following the touchdown. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Atlanta. It's the Cowboys in possession of the football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. That coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. Prescott to throw it. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. Here's second and ten. And again, it's Prescott. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down, as that was not an easy one to hold on to. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now, since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. Desperation time. Prescott on fourth. He's got his target. That's complete. And the Cowboys are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done, as you noted, and they did. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop him behind the line. David Anyamata, excellent effort. And he earns a tackle for loss. Oh, partner, that play brought back memories. Watching them string it out, letting the runner get all the way to the sideline area, but not letting him get out of bounds. They formed that picket fence and didn't allow him through. Not only that, got him for a loss as well here. And one of the reasons they lead in the fourth quarter, plays like that. Yeah, it took a little more time off the clock, making him do it that way, didn't they? No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. So stuff for no gain on second down brings up a pretty interesting third from this distance. I'm throwing the ball, and I'm not even thinking about play pass. I'm going to let them know right away I'm throwing it, 
but I'm probably giving my quarterback some room. Sprint him out to one side. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. A nightmare on third and goal. He sacked, and multiple players broke through the line to get him. Well, you don't usually get a sack from a nose tackle spot, but we got one there. No, we don't, and a lot of the times in passing situations, they end up off the field anyway. So how happy was he to work his way back to the quarterback and put him on the ground? He's going to have to put a nickname after something like that, some big jelly or something like that. <laughs> So with that field goal, this one's now back within a field goal. Maybe not the ultimate result they wanted, but gets them that much closer. This game is unfolding like a really good book, isn't it? Because I feel like there's a few more plot twists yet to be revealed before this one is over. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. And now it looks like he's in some discomfort after being tackled at the end of that return. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. I guess the good news as they start this drive is that they, they still do have the lead, Charles. If their defense hadn't been able to hold them to a field goal on the other side, they'd be down. But now it's about preserving that very small lead. It is preserving and maybe stretching it out a little bit because if you're a starter on that side of the ball, I certainly hope you didn't loosen up your shoulder pads or start to cut the tape off because if you did, you did it way too soon. They've got to go back out there with renewed vigor for lack of a better term, and also a good plan. They need points, and they need them now. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Throwing his cousins. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Oh, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down and now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 157 to go in the ball game I have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he'll push his way up to about the 44 here. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury. And we'll be back in a moment. They'll come up facing third and five. Cousins. A hit as he throws there incomplete. Oh, uh, you can see and feel the disappointment on that one because you saw some guys on the sidelines jumping up going, oh, no. Looked like they had that one set up well on third down. But you got to give yourself time to get rid of the football. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Oh, 
Yeah, he was looking for the checkup, bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. So Dak and the Cowboys trailing 14-13, a minute 44 to go. Needing at least 40 yards, you'd have to think, to have a shot. Here's Dak. The short one there taken in by Ferguson. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. I like what they did there. Still keeping their tight ends involved. They understand it's not quite Hail Mary time just yet. Just the one timeout remaining as they try to navigate this two-minute drill. First and ten. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. It didn't check off every box, but the most important one. Got the clock stopped, getting out of bounds. It may be a little short of the first down, but I thought that was the key. Here's second and a yard. To throw Prescott. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. For as many sacks as this defense has, you can understand their willingness to try and get upfield and get another. So what a really smart play call here to use their aggression against them. Go with the screen, and they're able to get the first down. Now Dak. Right back to his running back, Ezekiel Elliott. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. They'll come up now on second down. Now Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to almost certainly win the football game. And that's off the right, upright. Thought it might sneak in, but it did not. It's no good. And that'll keep this a one-point game. Yeah, Brandon, that's a tough distance with the game on the line because you'd like to have your kicker better odds than that. Anything 50-plus, we know it's going to be difficult. And that one proved to be just a little too difficult. And now it appears it's going to cost him the football game. game this was what an atmosphere this was and the home team getting the late touchdown getting the victory and now everybody in this building can file away with smiles on their faces and what do real estate people tell us all the time it's location 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 so being at home that can be a big deal because remember they were down to their final chance to retake the lead that home field advantage i can help fuel all of what happened for them down the stretch a huge win so that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Falcons here as we say so long from Atlanta.